slammed into the activating the arena. The pitch is activated. The weapon is working. They thought they had it. They're in trouble already. Oh, look at the power. This is one of the... We're engineers from the Midlands and our robot is Carboy. Our aim with Carbide was to design a robot that's so powerful it's feared by everybody. We had three objectives. Precision, aggression and damage. We've kept everything secret. No one's seen it up until now. So I'm behind the drive of the machine, Sam's behind the weapons and Cheryl the tactician. Me and Sam built the best spinning robots in the UK and we've joined forces to build something completely incredible. Carbide is completely weapon orientated. It's designed around the 850mm long blade that spins at 2,500 RPM. I've been fighting robots for 15 years, and this one scares me. From Derby, Carbide. Driver David designs robots for a well known chocolate company. Well, the new robots even night chocolate. David and Sam used to fight on opposite teams, but they've combined to create the monster that is Carbide. Bear Moth, the most experienced robot in the history of Robot Wars with the yellow and black stripes and the scoop but a very limited CO2 supply. And Bear Moth on the general straight away and tyres in Robot Wars. No, 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 no. Not a good idea. They could be under attack any moment now. They're trying to get away there. Bear Moth to try and take on Bonk. Very inexperienced robot that. The general team watch on. In goes Bearmoth, that can self-right, has a three mech. You can see it there, the arms come out. The scoop acts as a self-writing mechanism. Attacking the general, Carbide, waiting to pick up any loose pieces. They've activated the pit. Who's going to go down this time? You are so cruel out there. Don't go in the pit. Don't go in the pit is a wise... It's... Oh, the wheels come off the general! Well, what did we tell you? Don't bring wheels into the arena. In comes the spinning blade of Carbide. They say it has ten times the power of anything else seen on Robot Wars. And off went the tyre. One wheel on that wagon, my friends. And meanwhile, Behemoth is causing carnage. And Little Bonk is flipped over and Carbide comes in to try and create some sort of danger there and moves away. Look at that weapon. Two of the best fighting robot designers around in David Moult and Sam Smith. They've designed a very good machine here. Behemoth brooding. Carbide cautious, but both through and brilliant. Impressive start by Behemoth here, flipping the general. Self-righted, yes, but the wheels were to go. Look at that venomous weapon of carbide. And when Bonk went into the corner and was turned, the armour not thick enough, the CO2 venting there. Good work by Behemoth. And then, of course, carbide, oh, impressed by him, came in with a coup de grace. Boys from Bonk, the twin brothers, you're out. What a way to start. Yeah. Carbide. Yeah. It worked. It worked. <laughs> Inconsistently in places. Yeah, we had a problem with the weapon at the start, where the uh, transmitter didn't bind correctly to the... Okay. Um, so, so Sam had to turn it off and turn it back on at the start. Classic. So, yeah, so... Uh, <laughs> or the, yeah. And so will it be a problem moving forward, do you think? No, it shouldn't be. We can have a look and do some testing. Good news is you're through to the head-to-head, -head, so... Good. Great. <sighs> Despite appearing to be untroubled in their group battle, Team Carbide have uncovered some serious issues with their weapon motor. When they took the top off, they saw that quite a bit of damage had been done to the motor. Um, so they're trying to sort that out now, but like they're only just realising what the problems are with it. Um, and a couple of things have bossed. It's critical for weapon to run, so uh, it's pretty important. <laughs> They're pretty stressed because they don't have long to sort it out and they might have to get replacement parts for it. And if they can't get them, then the weapon's not going to work. Smoke is touch, but so hot, it's destroyed the top bearing, the 
With only two hours between fights to make repairs, there are definite advantages to being in a warehouse full of engineering geniuses. The cables are all different ones. Uh, it's the cables are just all chains and lines. And, and number them. Yeah. And they're not the bolts, they're numbers. So you can get through to the main effect. Yeah. Yeah. So why are you doing put two marks on one of them? But whilst tournament favourites Carbide race against time, their rivals and rank outsiders nuts still can't believe their luck. Interesting that Terra Hertz captain John Reed was helping out Carbide in the pits. Oh yes, they're all friends in there. Out here, they want to cut, slash, bish, boss, bash. And John Reed will want to stay in close so that Carbide can't get that huge 2,500 RPM weapon up to full speed and so that he doesn't hear that death ham going and he smashes him into the side wall. This is terrific control early on here from Terahertz. Across the flame pit they go. Carbide at the moment being pushed around the arena. The pitch is activated. The weapon is working. They thought they had a WTP early on, a weapons transmission problem. It might have even been more serious. The weapon is working but not to great effect and Killalot has them there it's a char broiled carbide at the moment grilled barbecue out is it out the weapon is still spinning terahertz at the moment is waiting and watching to see what so Killalot does it pushes it back on to the axe blade of terahertz terahertz they've increased their armament this year so that they can deal with a spinner they've never faced a a real spinner before, they've done a very good job here, and they know the pit is there, but John Reed needs to be careful. He needs to be controlled in his push. If he gets too close, he could still go down the pit himself. Turning on full power, full power. At full power, they need to be under control. Watch that play! Carbide have gone. Yes! First three points got a terahertz. No act so far from terahertz. Cease. What happened to our drive? Just the bolt heads was catching, I think, on the flying pit. That's why we got stuck there. <laughs> well, done. <laughs> Sighs of relief. You look a little bit stunned. Uh, our axe didn't even work. First hit, our axe stopped working. Really? No axe. Listen, you didn't need the axe. Three points for the knockout. Yeah. Well done. Carbide, surprised. You were so yeah. dominant in, in the groups and it just didn't quite... Go to plan. Yeah, well, we added a layer of polycarb on the top just for these guys with the hammer. Scared them. Long I, game. I long used to be game. on John's team, so I knew exactly what his tactics okay, were. Okay. <laughs> Carbide still two more head to heads to go, so yeah. you can get points back. Good yeah. luck. Thank you. Thank you. It's nuts against Carbide. Can nuts change? Tangle their way to a victory against the vicious Carbide. <laughs> Carbide is at the cutting edge. The trouble is that weapon can cut themselves to pieces. There goes a whole load of washes. And already they're attacking the nutty boys. Oh, they've lost the protective ring. They've lost the protective oh, ring. Now that leaves them very, very vulnerable. Oh, dear. Nuts, stay away from danger. That's it. Dance the dance. Walk the walk. Talk the talk. Stay away, stay away, boys. Do your little self-writing flip. Well, Carbide, oh, I thought it was going to activate the uh, pit release mechanism. No. Wants to potentially inflict more damage and go slicing in. And Nuts, they're in trouble already. Oh, look at the power. This is one of the strongest, most venomous weapons I've ever seen. The little cluster box. Get out of there. You can take too much. Too much. Oh, my goodness me. Down goes the pit. This is damage limitation, and you're not going to limit it. Not like that. Wow. Off comes the wheel. Immobilised. And open to absolute... <laughs> He's praying for the cluster bomb. Well done, lads. <laughs> Cheers for that. Myself and Andrew are watching this battle in the other control room and midway through there's an almighty crash against the glass we're watching and this 
was the shard of nuts that had come smashing at us at God knows what speed, right? And it's actually quite razor sharp. Now, let's, um, let's go through it. Firstly, can I return to you the bit of, well, what's remaining of your robot that came smashing through the and bounced I'm guessing off the that's from the flail. Back. It doesn't look very much like it anymore. No, it doesn't look <laughs> really. Uh, now, we'll come to you in a second, right? Uh, <laughs> Firstly, what's all this? Ooh, 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 our robot isn't working very well. You did, did you? Was that all the psych out? All the things about our engine isn't working and. No, no, that, was, that surprised us as well. <laughs> really? Yeah. But Michael, right from the start, it was it was kicking off. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's winding up quite nicely then. Yeah, it did. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, you're bullish now, aren't you? <laughs> you've got one more to do against Behemoth. Yeah. Right. But you've got to presume that in the other head-to-head, -head, mm. the terahertz are going to pick up a fairly easy three points against what's left of nuts. We didn't really think of that. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> so in some ways, you've made it easy for somebody else to get points by. Just Getting rid decimating of them. them. We've, yeah. we've got um, the same drive that they've got, so we might end up uh, fixing nuts with them. Get really? them going. Get nuts repaired yeah. to fight your opponents. Yeah. This put, is so devious. Put our spinner on his robot and send him in. The big one for the qualifier of the final has got to be you against Behemoth, and that's what you're going to have yeah. to focus on. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. That was astonishing. The sturdy Behemoth withstand an assault from the deadly carbine. <laughs> The winners will go through to the heat final. There's the bucket against the blade. Oh, what a start this is! Belmont flipping carbide to one side. But will it, oh, will it sustain damage as it does that? Because that's a mighty powerful weapon. And we've heard the death hum before. Will we hear it again? Belmont in. There goes the pit as they slammed into the activating mechanism. Oh, look at the slice on the titanium bucket. What power it must take to cause that. Oh, just sliced and diced it. And Bermoth's on its side. And with limited CO2, can they get upright? I don't think they can. Oh, what a victory by Carbide. Into the pit they go. Sensational. Carbide through. Bermoth baffled, bamboozled, beaten. Gut-wrenching power. A titanic tussle, this.